one, Sean Spicer, White House Press Secretary, just wrapping up his daily briefing there. Uh, we heard him once again make the case for why a temporary ban on people coming from seven hotbeds of terror is necessary. I'm Trish Reed, and welcome everyone to the Intelligence Report. Joining me right now, former campaign director for President Ronald Reagan and Fox News contributor Ed Rollins with an assessment, shall we say, of how Sean Spicer's doing in all of this, because he's obviously come under a lot of criticism. There's been some concerns, some rumblings uh, in the White House that, that maybe he might be in a, a little bit over his head and maybe out over his skis. Uh, he seemed to have a less contentious press conference today. What's your assessment of how I, he's doing the fight? I think he's getting much stronger. It's, this, this, it's probably the most impossible job in the, in the sense of the day-to-day -day combat. Is, Isn't that true? Is, is, is yeah. the press secretary. I mean, certainly there's the chiefs of staff and other people are, are every bit as important. But every day you've got to go out there for two or three hours, at least in the course of a day, an hour here at a press and then talking to the major reporters. You're the, you're the face and they want to know the answers, you know, and sometimes the answers are not available and sometimes you don't want them to be available. So it's always kind of a contentious unless you have a good relationship. And the key to a good press secretary is you have to understand that the press have a job to do. They're not going to write your press releases. They're going to do their job. And what you want to do is you're... And by the way, they're skeptical. In and, their they're skeptical. And, and that's, you know, that goes for either side. And, and, I would and, say in general, they're a little tougher perhaps they, on and, Republicans and, and they, they than should, Democrats, they should, but they're skeptical. They, they should be skeptical. And they've seen, they've, seen, they've seen a lot. So your job is to basically make sure your part of the story gets told. And there's no inaccuracies. And you try and develop a relationship that over time, when, they're, when you say to somebody, if, if a good press secretary that you've worked with says to you, Trish, that story's not right. Don't go there. Right. Uh, you'll basically believe you No, know, you, you respect them. You respect and, that. And, and you know that if, if there is something there, that uh, hopefully they'll, they'll point you in the right direction. And when there isn't, um, they won't. But, you know, that, that also means you've got to command the respect Absolutely. of these reporters. You've got to own that room. Absolutely. It's... it's, it's it's and that's not easy. It's not easy. It's a performance skill. And to a certain extent, anytime you get in a group think, uh, you get a bunch of people that basically want to show off in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it, it's a very, very tough job. And I think to a certain extent, he's, he's getting stronger. Uh, president. He's only been doing it for a few days, a few really. Days. I mean, and, you know, one, you, you, one of the first. One and, of the first. and the press as well. They're, they're, they're trying to feel each other out. Feel each other. And so it's, uh, you know, it's been a very fast start. Uh, and the, and, the, and the president criticized his dress. He has a, he has a brand new suit now and a brand new tie. He looks, he looks much more dapper than he does. <laughs> well, that, you say the, <laughs> the president criticized him. I, I would imagine, to a certain extent, he's also performing not just for the press, not just for the American public, but, of course, for his big audience of one. Do you think Donald Trump's watching this? Oh, sure he is. He watches this definitely every day. It's, uh, you know, he, he basically, uh, he's a TV junkie. Uh, he, he watches a lot of stuff. He doesn't have as much time as he had when he was here just building buildings, but mm -hmm. he still every day wants his, wants his fix, and mm -hmm. his fix is watching Fox, Fox, watching you, watching others around here, uh, and just to sort of know what's going on. And, uh, and, and so part of that also is keeping tabs on Sean Spicer and making sure that Sean is getting the right message right. out to these reporters. Right. Um, so does that make Sean's job that much more difficult in that, you know, someone's well, really sh managing you, short, short perhaps run. in some ways micromanaging you? The short run. The, the, key, the key thing about these kinds of jobs is, the principal has to have total confidence in you. Sean's going to make some mistakes. That's just the nature of the beast. Uh, and other people in the White House are going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. and, and at the end of the day, you've got to say, okay, he, made, he dropped the ball. You know, I'm going to throw him to him again. And it's just, uh, and as, as you learn the process, and, and, you know, the problem here, there have been a lot of, a lot of misstatements that have been made by the president. Of the, but they, there's a lot of corrections that had to go on and a lot of, a lot of little crises here. Yeah. All in all, I would say for two and a half weeks uh, in office. So far, so good. So far, so, so good. So far, so good. All right. Hold